Charlie here from TechInform.us. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hide your IP address. Now if you don't know what an IP address is, it's basically a series of numbers that basically allows anybody with the right software to find where you live, what city you're in, what country you're in, uh, what operating system you're in, all these different aspects of your location. And It's a bit scary when you think about it that people can with, that have the right software can find out where you live. So today I'm going to be showing you how to prevent this. Now basically reasons why you're going to want to do this. First scenario is you want to watch YouTube videos from another country. So I use this a lot if let's say um, with the Vivo crap there's a YouTube video I want to watch that's not available in the United States. I can change my IP and everything will work out fine. Another re scenario is if you're just scared of people finding you um, hackers this I've never actually heard of something like that's happening but I know it's possible so um, this basically is a very good way to prevent this. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to have to have the internet browser Firefox. So you're going to go to Mozilla.com, I believe, and just basically go to this link. Links always down below. Download it. You're going to get this app right here. Right here. Just open it up. You all have to do is open it up at least once. So that's good enough. So once you basically have this application, you're going to head on over to this link. It's torproject.org. This link, again, will be in the video description. Now, depending on your operating system, you're going to go ahead and hit download. And then right here, you have a Microsoft Windows version. So what I'm going to be showing you today is the browser bundle. So as you can see, for Microsoft Windows, um, under this bullet, it'll say, The Tor Browser Bundle contains everything you need to safely browse the Internet. This package requires no installation, distract it, and run. So if you're on a Windows computer, go ahead and hit Learn More. And here we go. Right here, Tor Browser Bundle for Windows with Firefox. So depending on what language you speak, you're going to click that language and download. If you're on a Mac, like I am, you're going to just basically, um, on this page, you're going to go all the way down to Apple OS X and hit Learn More. This will bring you to the exact same web page. So you're going to scroll down to this section right here, Tor Browser Bundle for Intel Mac OS X 10.5 and higher with Firefox version 1.0.22, 28 megabytes. Now again, depending on your language, you're going to hit on the language. And the exact same thing goes for Linux. Now here are some installation instructions for Mac OS X. I'm going to be going over these today. Um, if you're on a Windows computer, here are some installation instructions for Windows. Go ahead and read these because I'm not going to be going over how to do this on Windows. So we're just going to go up here and we're going to hit English ENUS. It'll take almost next to nothing to download. It's only a 24 megabyte file. And we're going to get this zip file right here. And go ahead and decompress it or double click. I'm using the unarchiver. And it'll give you this application right here. Tor browser dot Tor browser underscore en dash us. Now it's very important that you have Firefox for this because this is almost an internet plugin or a um, browser plugin, but it's a little different. Now basically, you can if you're on a Windows computer, as I said before, follow these instructions. But I'm going to be going over the Mac instructions, which are very quite simple. So what we're going to do now, we're going to double click it. And this will come up, this um, notification. It says Tor Browser underscore en dash us is an application that you have downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Then it'll give you some information on where it was downloaded. Just go ahead and hit open, no viruses. It'll crash and then relaunch for some reason. And then as you can see right here, it'll establish a encrypted directory connection. It will identify network status. Basically, this might take a while the first time you use it like it is for me considering we just downloaded this file. Then when, as soon as it says connected to the Tor network, it'll open up a Firefox, but it'll crash on the very first time you do it. So now all you're going to do is just hit X, um, quit Vidalia, and open it up again. Now it'll start the Tor software. Then this is where it has to authenticate it. Now the reason it crashes on the first try is that it did not for some reason go through the process of authenticating it. So as you can see, Firefox is now going to open up. I might add this is a much older version of Firefox 
than the current version we've downloaded, but we still have to use it. Now, depending on the server that Tor has connected you to, the internet speeds can vary from very fast, depending on your location of your IP, or very slow. As you can see right now, this is my very first time using this, so it's going to be slower. Now, as you can see, it'll say, congratulations, your browser is configured to use Tor. Now, to prove to you that this is changing my IP address, I'm just going to go to www cmyip.com. This is a website that allows you to see your IP. And I might add, um, if you do get on a slow server, um, you can just go ahead and restart Vidalia. As you can see, it'll say 87. Dot blah 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 blah. This is not my IP address. So the countries are blank and the city is blank. If you want to prove that this is basically um, works, you can go to this website before using Vidalia let's say on a different internet browser and then you can also use Vidalia and then see the changes so again make sure you stay within um, legal terms while using this method of hiding your IP address make sure to check out the website that I write for at www.techinform.us as you can see right here on my desktop follow me on twitter at twitter.com slash abnercus again that's A-B-N-E-R-C-U-S right here on my desktop um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video I make thanks for watching and I will see you soon Thanks for watching. Again, bye-bye.